Now here was an extraordinary medical challenge. How to reach one of the most inaccessible parts of our body, namely the small intestine or bowel, a long, narrow and twisting tract that in some cases is up to seven meters long. 20 years ago, Gabriel Idan developed an answer to the problem. Pilcom is a small ingestible video camera with a transmitter, that's it. Doctors have long been able to examine more obviously accessible parts of our digestive system by endoscopy or colonoscopy, but never before the small bowel. How does it actually work? You have a tiny camera with the lenses, the uh, recording chip. You have to have lights because inside the body there's no natural illumination. In other words, a complete TV studio. And how small did it have to be? How miniature? So that it will be easy to swallow. And easy to swallow means no more than 11 millimeters in diameter and no more than 30 millimeters in length. Idan first dreamt up the Pilcam in 1993. These are your notebooks, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I have many of them. I brought what you can see here yeah. is an early drawing of the capsule. The date is 20 years ago. Did you specifically pattern that at the time? Yes. Each one of the components are well-known components. I cannot pattern them. A lens is a lens is a lens. An imager was not my invention. My invention was the convergence of all these technologies and generating or creating a new product. A quarter of a million pill cams are manufactured every year with a retail value of about $500 each. It seemed only natural that I should take the Pilcam, try it out for myself, under the supervision of Professor Ian Gralnack. Okay. Is that comfortable? It's fine. Okay. He straps on a device that will receive and record all the images being taken by the Pilcam. All you're going to have to do, Nick, is pick that up take the glass of water and swallow it down. So this is the moment of truth. Pilcam photographs the unseen world of our insides before naturally passing through with our body waste. Come in. Good morning, Professor. Good morning, Nick. How are you? Not bad. Not nice bad. to see you. Yeah. Anxious to know the results, though, I have to say. Everything looks good. Don't be anxious. Um, fortunately for me, my tract is healthy. But in other patients, Professor Gralnack is looking for evidence of gastroenterological disease, like this ulcer. It's, it allowed us, really, for the first time, it's been a revolution in how we can see the entire small bowel. We weren't able to do that before. And how does all this progress make the inventor feel? That's a great feeling. There were many uh, lives were saved, but more so, many people have a uh, better living now. Some 1.7 million people have taken the pill cam so far, and for many of them, that has meant proper medical diagnosis, proper treatment, and improved quality of life. For a few of them, it's actually saved their lives. <laughs>